So, Mr. Ferguson, is it? Craig, yes. Now, I understand that you're interested in applying for the position of our friend. That would be great. I I'm very lonely. <laughs> See why we need a new... Relax, there can be two foreign ones. Oh, I didn't know that. Go on. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? Wait, excuse me, I have the clipboard. I'll ask the questions. So, Craig, what do you do for a living? I host The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. I see. And what time is that on? 12.37 a.m. Given that AM stands for anti-Meridian, wouldn't it more logically be called the early, early show with Craig Ferguson? I don't know. The answer is yes. Minus eight points. I didn't know there was going to be a test. Then you're really not going to like the physical. Now, please answer the following questions to the best of your ability. The first category is Star Wars. In the briefing, before the Death Star battle, Luke Skywalker is seated next to whom? Hang on, I think I know this. It's a trick question. You would think it would be Beggs, his childhood friend from Tatooine, but I'm going to go with Wedge. Correct. Five points. <laughs> I'm going to go with Wedge. <laughs> that accent's more charming than mine. I don't like him. <laughs> Next question. For five points apiece, you have 20 seconds to name all the stretchy superheroes. Go. Uh, Plastic Man, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Elastigirl, uh, Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong is a toy, not a superhero. Yeah, but they are making a Stretch Armstrong movie. And Slinky Dog was in Toy Story. I think you see the absurdity of your argument. <laughs> Up. I'm sorry, Mr. Ferguson. I think we're done here. Uh, no, no, you, you didn't ask me a single Doctor Who question. I really don't think that'll be necessary. Good day, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Doctor Who's home planet is Gallifrey. I said good day. <laughs> Doctor Who found the TARDIS in a scrap yard. <laughs> Trust me, let it go. This is not a test you want to pass. <laughs> Fine. I'll see you guys in a few minutes on the show. Does that mean he'll see us on the show? It was a humorous conceit predicated on a violation of the fourth wall, and I did not care for it. <laughs> we are well rid of him. Now what do you do? Cue the Late Late Show opening title montage. But I just told you I do not care for that. <laughs> Ferguson, sponsored by Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, Friday, only in theater. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. starting to sound sarcastic. Sit down. <laughs> what a lovely studio audience we have this evening. What a fantastic group of people. Not really. <laughs> I'm kind of weirded out because look, Jeff isn't here. No. I know. Where is that bony gay bastard? <laughs> Jeff's not here tonight because he's on assignment. He's covering a big Hollywood event. We sent really, we sent him to a red carpet event. And he's asking questions on the red carpet. 
And those movie stars going in and they're like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, take that, movie stars! Oh, other than that, though, it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? It's a great, and it's a great day for American uh, American Idol, who they've finally announced their their new judges officially. It's Steven Tyler and J Lo. Uh, but so if you add those two to Ryan Seacrest, it's starting to look like The View over there, though a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. J Lo and Steven Tyler are very different, of course. One is a street kid who transformed herself into a beautiful woman, and the other one's J Lo. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Leave it. Don't clap at that. I'm kidding. We've got, we got a picture. I love Steven Tyler. You got a picture of Steven Tyler? There he is. Now, <laughs> it's a sad day for David Hasselhoff, or as he's known in uh, David Germany, Der Puppenfuhrer. Uh, <laughs> as you, uh, <laughs> Der Puppenfuhrer. <laughs> no, he was the first to get kicked off Dancing with the Stars, and I'm thinking, it's because you were wearing too much, David. <laughs> He, he does his best work shirtless. He's always done his best work shirtless, whether it's Baywatch or just eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> anyway, we are very excited here. Apart from the fact that Jeff's on, on I mean, Jeff will be really cut up when he hears about this, because tonight is Big Bang Theory night. Hooray! Right. <laughs> we have a graphic. What's on the graphic? <laughs> enough. Wow, look at that graphic right there. Take that, George Lucas. <laughs> ILM my ass. <laughs> no, we got, we got everybody here. We got J Jim Parsons is here, Johnny Galicki is here, Simon Helberg is here, Kunal Nayar is here. Kaylee Kuoko will not be joining us this evening, I'm sorry. Just, no, I'm sorry. Uh, she broke her leg. She, uh, yeah, she, you didn't know, you know, she broke her leg. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, if you've spent the last few years in a cave and you don't know the Big Bang Theory, let me explain it to you. Not the show, the theory. The, uh, <laughs> here, the theory very, is very simple, really. About 14 billion years ago, there was a bang, and it was very big. <laughs> Basically, the, the theory behind it is that we are living in an explosion. It's like we are living, we're in a constantly expanding universe. It's like we're living in a giant explosion. It's if as if the entire universe was contained in Larry King's pants. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory of the universe is very controversial. It was very controversial when it came out. Albert Einstein didn't even believe it at first. He said the universe stayed the same size forever. And then he eventually saw the error of his ways and he called it the biggest blunder of his life. And I'm like, really? <laughs> That's the biggest blunder you are. You disagreed with a bunch of scientists for a while? You never drunk dialed an ex-girlfriend or something? <laughs> hey, baby, this is Alba. <laughs> hey, how you doing? This is a booty call. Can I come over and split your atom? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're welcome, Albert Einstein's legacy. <laughs> anyway, the, the, the guys from the Big Bang Theory are here tonight. And, and... Is, as if that weren't enough, it's autumnal equinox today. Yeah. Ah. No, please, please, yes. I know, I'm very excited. <laughs> Maybe it's a coincidence. Every year, though, I, I throw a party on the equinox. I get a huge party, I get dressed up in a shimmering jumpsuit, and I, I call it the sequinox. <laughs> it's a very witchy day. It's actually a big holiday for modern witches today. You know, Wiccans, people who practice Wicca. Read Wikipedia. <laughs> To me, though, the, the wicked stuff seems like a, a lot of hocus pocus. It's like particle physics. <laughs> I just said that to piss off the Big Bang people in the audience. They're all like, what? What, what does he say about particle? I've had enough. I'm out of here. Where's my Doctor Who lunchbox? <laughs> and it's hard for me to take the witchcraft seriously. There's something very Ren Fairy about witchcraft. You know, the Ren Fair is, it, in a way, because the Ren Fair is an excuse to break away from society and be different. Kind of like Star Trek conventions. See how I tied in the autumnal equinox and the Big Bang Theory? It's almost as if I'd thought about it before. <laughs> but Ren 
fair nerds and Big Bang geeks have uh, other things in common than the autumnal week when all, so we can all agree that those Twilight movies suck. <laughs> Maybe we can't all agree on that. Maybe there's some people in the audience that really like those vampire movies. And maybe they better never come back here again. <laughs> Do you know who's excited about the Equinox will be uh, Christine O'Donnell, you know, the woman that's running for the Senate in Delaware, who dabbled in witchcraft. You got a picture of Christine O'Donnell? Yeah, there she is. She's a lovely woman. I don't, I don't believe she's into any of that weird stuff. I wonder where that picture was taken. Take it, take it out a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's a hell of a Ren Faire you're at there. Let me see that again. Wow. Uh, she said she was dabbling in witchcraft. She said it was just an 80s fad. And I'm like, no, Christine. An 80s fad is a piano key tie or a Rubik's Cube, maybe. <laughs> Rolling up your sleeves while you're doing your jokes. That's an 80s fad. Maybe <laughs> passing out in a dumpster. <laughs> that was kind of... That was... Maybe that was just me in the 80s. Yeah, I had a broken leg in the 80s. Oh yeah, one of them showbiz broken legs. Anyway, this is usually when I, I go to the commercial break, I have my little chat with Jeff, he's not here. You know, it's funny, you don't miss your robot skeleton until he's gone. <laughs> Look at that empty podium, it's like, it's like, a, it's like an empty skirt. <laughs> Look, he's left his little cup. He's, uh, he's adorable. How will he manage without his cup? And then when I look over here, there's nobody there. <laughs> oh, I'm very old, oh dear. And he's going to be very mad that we had a big sign show without a robot skeleton. <laughs> but uh, he'll be back tomorrow. And we'll be back after the commercials, which are coming up now, which are for products which are... Some of them are mediocre, to be frank. <laughs> no, that was just a joke. They're all excellent products in their own way. We'll be right back. lost without my skeleton. This is usually when I say, what time is it, Jeff Peterson? And he goes, Craig, it's time for <laughs> tweets and email. <laughs> so I guess it is. Play the thing. Now can cover and don't look back. Here comes an email and Twitter attack. Giant freaky monsters crushing our city. It's a jumbo lizard. So grab your rigging and your rocket back and join the email Twitter. Attack! Uh, let's see, we'll do the tweets and the emails. Oh, who's at the door? I'm trying to do the tweets. Oh, oh, My mother's here with all of her friends. Oh, really? Uh, no, she's That's not. That's adorable. She would love that. I tried to do my best Jeff coming out. I feel bad when you miss... I know. I miss him. Yeah. I yeah. miss him. I don't blame you. I, didn't, I don't blame you. <laughs> he really is at a red carpet event, though. He is. She's gone to uh, uh, Kristen Bell and Betty White of a, a movie opening. Oh, and did they request him? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> You took advantage of Kristen Bell and Betty White and said, they'll yeah. do this. Good yeah, for you. Yes, Good for you. Yeah, yeah. So he'll be there saying, who are you wearing? Absolutely. And all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Now, who... I don't... How does it really work? Well, you mean, how does it really him? work? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you mean the robot? I don't mean to unmask the man behind the curtain, but yeah. What it? It's an actual genuine robot. It really? really? For, yeah, you, we just plug it in and Stop. off he goes. I'm telling you. If I left him on his own, he'd clean the pool. Oh, <laughs> Well, then why don't you? And clean I up this he, joint, he, you know. I mean, maybe there's lots he could do. He could maybe 
pass a mop around this place. Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> I'm just about to do the tweets and the emails. I'm it's thrilled. such a surprise you should come by it's on shocking. Big Bang Night. It's shocking. <laughs> I threw Kaylee down back there to make sure I could do this. Is she, is she, is she all right? Is I she, think she's going to be lovely. Her I miss away. her, though. Kaylee, yeah. I miss you. Um, yeah, we, we miss you. We miss you tonight, This Kaylee. would be better Wait with you. Wait a minute. Kaylee's not here. Jeff's not here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying a new face. What do you think? Which one was? <laughs> What's it supposed to say? It, it's like, I suspect my supposedly mm, gay robot scaler. Yeah. And I'm running off with Kaylee Coco. Watch. There's a touch of the sucked lemon in there, though. You know, <laughs> That's just my natural bitterness okay, coming out. Okay. Yeah. All right, this is, uh, this is, this is an email then. You have to say it. Uh, yeah. right. All right, say it. Uh, I mean, just, uh, yes, right, go ahead. Right. It's your show. <laughs> this is from Jamie in Jackson, Mississippi. You ever been to uh, Jackson, Mississippi? No, I haven't. I have friends. Uh, my best friend Greg has family in Mississippi. Gene and Guy, hello. Wait, 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 what is this? The morning what? radio I show? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to your friends and well, Mrs. I wasn't prepared. I didn't I know. Really, you don't just come on here and go, I'd like the happy birthday to my dog. I don't. <laughs> Some people might be interested to know. Well, those in Mississippi might uh, be interested to true. know. That's true. I mean, no disrespect to our viewer Gene, in Mississippi. Guy, you were interested. <laughs> All right, anyway, Jamie and. Uh, what does Jamie want? Uh, Jamie says, Dear Craig and guest email person. Oh, oh well, <laughs> thank you, Jamie. <laughs> It's a little impersonal, but thank you. Yeah. Is it hard uh, to pretend to like someone when you don't? I can't fake it. Good for you. No, good for you. Good for yeah. you. Yeah, you're, you're no good in Hollywood. But no, I was just going to say, you, you, I hope that you don't have high career aspirations, but good, it's nice for you to be so honest. Are you, are you good at that? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I try to be a nice person. It's the southerner in me, you know. You're saying people that I live north of the Mason-Dixon like, are no, not good no, people? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Not on You're purpose, have to let I this wasn't. Whole civil That's not war what thing the whole go, thing. Man. Ay, ay, ay. Um, no, I think that uh, I think that there is some. You know, sometimes I don't want to be fake. You know, but uh, I tend to think that there's good in everyone. <laughs> Worst email segment ever? No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, just, good. No, it's, good. it's awesome. I'm just thinking we should put the show on 10 hours earlier. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, this is, uh, this is from Penny in Toronto in Ontario. What a coincidence. <laughs> Kaylee plays Penny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I thought it was about Canada. Yeah, I thought you were going, what a coincidence, Canada. I was like, what the hell? Is that? Right, right, no. No, no. all right. Uh, dear Craig, ever since the Big Bang Theory started, when my friend, uh, it doesn't even mention you here. Look at that. Oh. Perhaps we shouldn't, perhaps we shouldn't read it. No, let's go on. I'm big enough to handle this. All right then. Dear Craig and yeah. Emmy winner. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's what I should have brought with me. What, your Emmy? Well, I could hit you with it or whatever, you know, get out long. Oh, I think the Academy hit me just fine every year. <laughs> Dear Craig, ever since the Big Bang Theory started, when, I, when my friends and family come to visit, they've been knocking three times and saying my name. Oh, oh. oh. How can I get them to stop? Why would you want you know, to? Why would you? Do, th do this. <laughs> But they won't come back, but they won't be knocking. You're right. Right. All right, this is from Vesper in Pittsburgh. Vesper. The name Vesper? Right? Yes, now you look at that. Vesper. I, I can't read that that fast. Oh, I see it there, yeah. Is it too close? No, it's okay. Do you have bad eyes? Vesper. I didn't, but there's something throwing me off about this. <laughs> hurts the face. Yeah, all right. All right, Vesper in Pittsburgh, uh, you know, in America, mm -hmm. says, uh, Dear Craig, I got a bad haircut and I'm embarrassed to go to school. What oh. should I do? Oh, no, you could probably help here quite a lot. Um, not much, did you? You know, that was from, uh, I'm trying to help. That was from Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. We're getting on, what, it's end of September. Is it cold there yet? Oh, yeah, time for hats. Well, 
it's ugly. Yeah, yeah, no, very good. It's not you a see. creative answer, but it was. Um, it is a creative dead answer. On. Okay, you, okay. You're being very hard on yourself. No, I just want to make it a good email segment. It is a good email well, segment. <laughs> it's okay. It's the best ever. No, Craig, don't now, lie to me. Now, why are you doing this? You are very hard on yourself. I'm I mean, not hard on I myself. I think you are. You're driving me to be hard no, on myself. No, I'm not. You're I, trying to turn this into me beating up on myself, aren't you? What no, is you're this trying about? to manipulate me into thinking that That's you're not, not hard true. on yourself, but you that are. That is not true. Yes, you are. You think because this is your show, you can tell people what they're feeling when they're out here. Would Betty White take that? Would Kristen Bell? Would Jeff? Jeff takes it all. He just, he just stands there going, That's in your true. pants, That's in your true. pants. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was a very nice answer. I thought you did very well. And surely another Emmy must be coming your way. <laughs> All right, that has not helped our relationship. No, it's not. Okay. I'm very jealous. Oh, oh. crap. <laughs> this is from William in Temecula in California. Yes. Dear Craig, and maybe someone from the Big Bang Theory. How did they know this? Oh, Twitter. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, you tweet. I do tweet. I you don't. don't. Tweet. Uh, no. Why not? Because once... I'm gonna be hard on myself. Um, I, I did. I wasn't a good tweeter. I tried for 48 hours, and it just. I just didn't have anything interesting to say. And Neither does anyone else. That's all right. Well, no. You know what? That's not true. I think everybody has something interesting to say, and I think I have things that are interesting to say. But I decided once I started to write them that I didn't know that I wanted to reveal those interesting things to everyone. Ah, you know what I mean? Yes. That's so right. I was stuck with had oatmeal this morning, uh, thinking of Mexican food for dinner. You know. <laughs> What goes better on a Ritz than, I don't know. You Mexican? know, it was always food based. Anything, any, you know, everything what tastes better sitting be on a Ritz. better on a Ritz? Everything, I mean, besides maybe an old shoe, but everything tastes better sitting on a Ritz. <laughs> it's what they say, it is the buttery best. Do I Do get free Ritz from yeah, this yeah, movie? You, you will now. You'll be inundated, you'll be, it'll be crackers all over. I'll share them with Kaylee. Oh, They're yeah. good sick food, she I'm needs, sure. She needs some dried crackers to Do. mop up her broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh we're out of time. We're out of time. Added. So wonderful. We are at all zeros. You're right. Nah. The clock has hit. I ah, don't worry about that. Okay. Anyway, so, dear Craig, and maybe someone from the Big Bang, do you think Einstein is overrated? I do. Oh, that's horrible. You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Einstein is over. What the hell is wrong with that you? That clip that we showed of all of us in the uh, in our set, you were wearing Einstein. Yeah, he's, he's you know, he's a, the father of modern physics. Yeah, I thought character-wise it was an adorable overreach on your part, you know, trying to make in good, uh, you know. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I didn't say That you... was my own clothes. No, it was not. <laughs> we're out of time. You have to get out of here. Oh. No, no, don't leave like that. Well, I wasn't angry, but I take direction well. If you say get out, I get out. Well, it's your show. That. Well, sit here and pretend to like me while right. we go to commercials. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> In 2011, NASA launched the last space shuttle mission. As a publicity stunt, the crew included Academy Award-winning actor Michael Caine. But during a spacewalk, he got a little tipsy and floated away. Oh! Etc. Frozen for centuries in the dark reaches of space, he was finally defrosted in the year 2354. Uh, Captain's log, star date, uh, March the 5th, 23, uh... Oh, yeah, what, what year is it supposed to be? 2354. 23... 2354. And this is a stapler. Your voice is over there, Captain. Well... Thank you first, mate. It's strange, though, if you think about it, that this far into the future, we still need staplers. <laughs> All right. Not as strange as wearing a spacesuit in a battle cruiser that has full pressurization. <laughs> this is vintage. And if I hook up a vacuum at this little port down here near my business, ding dong, proper amount of suction, ooh la la splat. Here. 
<laughs> and I'll tell you another thing, eyebrows. I got this. I got this at Cape Canaveral. Cape, is that a galaxy? Cape Canaveral? No, it's in Florida. In America. On Earth. Oh, yeah, I read about Earth. It's a, it's a small blue planet destroyed in a nuclear war started by President Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah that's right. Now, I tell you, don't blame me. I wouldn't have voted for that furry little muppet. Captain, we're approaching Orion's belt. Oh, oh, oh Orion's belt? That means we're not far from Orion's arse. All right. Sometimes I wonder why they bother defrosting you. Oh. You bloody well know why they defrosted me. I am Michael Caine. I'm here to give some star power to this mission. <laughs> <laughs> the same star power you brought to Jaws 4? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Miss Congeniality. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you really classed up that remake of Bewitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually... Actually, Bewitch was pretty good, man. Oh. Yeah, it put a fresh twist on pretty some, some old concept. But Both of you, shut up! <laughs> Back on Earth, we had a saying, artists make films, the rest of you make television. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're a smug bastard. Yeah, possibly, yeah. All right. <laughs> Bloody star charts. Well, not to second guess you, Captain, but you should use the navigation unit. Whoop, whoop, beep, beep, beep. Uh, <laughs> this is a navigation unit, then, is it? What a lovely hat. Reminds me of something. I can't think what. Hey, hello. 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 Are you all right? Beady beady. Beady beady. Beady beady, all right. I don't trust that thing. The zero gravity makes them farty. Yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant, bring me my star charts, would you? All right, there you go. Hey, thanks, love. Oh. <laughs> so you just violated the Alliance Code. The yeah, Alliance Code of Conduct 1138 clearly states no captain shall fraternize with crew members of the opposite sex. Ah, that's where I've got you, see, because the lieutenant here is not of the opposite sex. All the blokes on this planet look like this. Really? What do the women on her planet look like? You don't want to know, really. Here, here. Wah, 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 wah. What's wrong? Here, he's crying. Oh, <laughs> no. oh is, is that no? Is that that's offici law? official. Alarm. Here, I can hear a cell phone going as well. Can you hear the cell phone going? Yeah. No, he is. He can throw his his voice. Oh yeah, right. That's right. him farting. Yeah. Oh, was that? Was that you? <laughs> Wait, right. oh, Captain, we, we must proceed slowly. These asteroids are displaying Brownian motions. I'll put a sock in it, will you? I'll do this. I've been driving space ships since long before you two were grown in a test tube. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Oops, hey, oh, hello. Hello, love. Would you say I step out of this suit and that you could analyze my dark matter? <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. Is this the end of the captain's long run of incompetence and or sexual harassment? Probably not. Are these two going to wise up and realize that starring on a hit sitcom is a lot better than being on an obscure late night show? Oi. Oi. And is she really a dude? Really? Seriously? I gotta know. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try and find out then. All right, uh, where's my drink? Uh, carry on, everyone. <laughs> welcome back to the, uh, welcome back to the uh, Big Bang Show, where we celebrate the work of also Michael Caine, for some reason. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. <laughs> My first guest tonight is one of the stars of the Big Bang Theory, which the season, the season premiere is tomorrow night. Uh, it's a new night. Uh, well, it's, a, it's an old night. It's, a, it's been a night for thousands of years. 
Once a week, this night has rolled around, but never with the Big Bang Theory on it. This Thursday night, uh, CBS at 8 p.m. Please welcome Johnny Galecki, everybody. Johnny Galecki. I'm doing well. It's this good feels to see odd. It feels a little odd to be representing the show without our, our girl here. Oh, you know, but I the, actually got a note from Kaylee. Did you? I did, yeah, hold on. Like, what's uh, that note? Yeah, I got a little tiny note for her. She, because a lot of people don't know, Kaylee is very small. <laughs> yes. And so to her, this is huge. Yeah, this is a huge, a I mean, card. she must have... It's one of those oversized yeah. cards. And it says, so sorry I couldn't be there. I'll be watching... That's not her handwriting at oh, all, by see, the way. right there. Right there. Right business again yeah so that's not her handwriting no 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 she maybe she did spell her own name right that's completely wrong See, this this isn't even for me is it <laughs> no, it's right, you, spell your name right yeah, no you know you know my name's spelled right because i wrote it yeah <laughs> Have you been to see her yet? Have you been to I see have. Her? I actually oh, I was she? there this afternoon again. She's doing great. She's a tough, tough girl. Really? She's a tough, tough. We were uh, in Dominican Republic a couple of years ago. What? A group of people. Vacation? Yes. You guys go on vacation together? It was uh, New Year's. We were with a big group. And I had rented some mopeds. And uh, we were tooling around. She was on the back. She said, do you mind if I take the handlebar? I said, no, no, go go ahead. She'd never done it before. And uh, <laughs> so you think CBS is going to be comforted by this story, by the way? Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> If you think I give a rat's yeah. ass about yeah. CBS, sir, you've never seen the show. So we're making... Yeah. I'm in the right place. You That's, absolutely yeah. are. So we're making a turn, our first turn, and she's not making it. So I reach over the handlebars. As we talked about last time, I've always, I grew up riding bikes. Right. So I kind of correct the handlebars. She stops, she whips around and says, don't do that again. If I'm going to do this, then I'm, you let me do it. Oh. I said, okay. Right. Two blocks later, she's not quite making the next turn. And, I said, I, I'm, and we're plowing towards an ancient Dominican stone wall at about 30 <laughs> miles an hour at this point. And I thought... Uh, well, all right, I'm going to respect her, and I'm, I'll just, I'm not going to do anything. And at the last second, she overcorrected. The bike went over. We went over. I was fine. I kind of rolled into it. I looked over. She had gravel and blood, and her jeans were torn up, and the bike had whipped over on top of her. And I'm horrified at this. And she looks up at me and goes, are you okay? <laughs> the bike on top of her with the wheel still turning. Well, yeah, I'm that good. is pretty tough. Yeah, I, why, I'm always rather impressed by the cast of your show that how you do get along and you go on holidays together and you all mm. live in the same house. We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be That's a not show true, on though, itself. Let's see, see, that'll be the next season of Big Brother on CBS. What? <laughs> the, the, don't give them ideas because you know that you know that they'll be, do it. Because you're not a late night show. That yeah, would have to be a very you, late you, night you, show. You'll have to do the you'll have to do the late late show because I'm <laughs> going to get fired for saying that thing about not giving a rat's ass. No, you won't. I got your back. I got your back. No, I got no. your back. No. We were bonding. Yeah, I guess. Are I you wearing know. socks tonight? Yeah, you are. Yeah, because not on my feet. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, there, there you well, go. when you came to our stage and did the cold opening, I was I was thrilled to see that you were comforted enough to not wear socks. I, I, I thought that I, was no, lovely. I, I remember you gave me a bit of a hard time. You said I was flattered that you were that comfortable. See, that just I wasn't wearing little... underwear. If it makes you feel any better. Are you, are you wearing underwear now? No. You're wearing, you're wearing ladies' underwear? I borrowed one of your socks from ah. your dressing room. So, uh, what, what happens this year then in the Big Bang Show? Do the uh, do friends become enemies? Enemies become friends? Oh, I'm sure they'll be yeah, a, yeah, of that. a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. we'll tune in. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Good plug. Thanks, I yeah. Was, uh... yeah. You really did the hard sell there, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's yeah. very, very good. But are you, are you're not nerdy in any way, are you? You're not, not, you're not really like... I don't think of you really as the actor, you being into kind of nerdy things and... Yeah, well, I go through phases. I don't know. I think nerdy is just being immersed in something. I go through phases of, well, what am I doing right now? I'm not doing much of anything right now. Really? No. Well, if you count this, uh, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. I'm nerdy for this. I'm nerdy for, for attending your show. Uh, well, motorcycling. You still, and, uh, what kind of motorcycle do you got? The Harley. Still got the Harley. The soft yep. tail? 
Uh, soft tail deluxe, good. Yeah, yeah, well yeah, done. yeah, 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 yeah. And that incident in Dominican Republic didn't even scare Kaylee. She still loved to ride on the back of it. We realized we made the deal. She's better on the back of it. Yeah. Than riding. <laughs> And she noticed once that other bikers would, as we pass them on the road, you know, this is what we'll yeah. kind of do that. Yeah, do that little do thing. That little yeah, thing. Yeah. And I would do it back to them. Yeah. And she said, she said what, uh, what does that mean? I said, well, that's an acknowledgement of the, the upcoming uh, outlaw revival. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I said, uh, revolution. A revolution. The revolution. Said, what? I said, well, yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, Secret one day side? the bikers will rise up and we're going to, we'll take over. <laughs> She said, can I do it to them? I said, yeah, yeah. So she's just loving doing it. Loving doing it. Every biker that passes and is mad when they don't do it back to her. Yeah. I still to this day have never told her that it just means like, what's up? Hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? When I, when <laughs> She'll I... learn tonight when she watches the show. There's she, no uh... biker revolution. She won't remember. No, with, no. Her, with her broken Chardonnay. Yeah, yeah, her, her, her broken leg. Oh. <laughs> the... Um, <laughs> The uh, no, I don't. When I'm on the bike, I don't ride. I don't ride my bike much anymore since right. the accident. But when I'm on my bike, my bike's an American. Since Kaylee's accident? N yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I heard about the Dominican Republic. I'm, like, I'm just too scared to yeah. go back on. <laughs> no, I had a, I had an accident on a bike, and after that, I didn't ride very much. But when I was riding on my bike, I ride a, an Indian, but it's an American oh, bike. Those are beautiful. Right, beautiful bike. But every time I would do the little, you know, thing like that, yeah. I would do it to guys on Harleys or guys on Indians. But guys on Japanese bike, I'd be like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You might want to get your pixelation machine going. There you yeah. are. Get, get a little flag up there or something. Subcultures within the subcultures. Well, yeah. yeah, and I didn't even mean it. I mean, they're perfectly good Japanese and. and well, you're and, being friendly to them. Yes, so I know. It's just a brotherhood. Let's was, all join the revolution. Right. It's not really a revolution. What would bikers do if they took over the country anyway? More beer? <laughs> More beer, if, if, onion rings for everyone. Yeah, we'd all end up with broken legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, that's true. Yeah. So how was, uh, how was your broken leg going? I, <laughs> my, my broken Pinot Noir. Mm. It's what? Well, today it's flared up, obviously. But uh, no, <laughs> you're all right. Yeah, I'm good. Why? Do I look sickly? You look a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I've been sober no, in weeks. No, what are you talking no. about? I, keep, I, I always forget that you don't wear glasses. It kind of freaks me out, man. I don't, and I wear a beard here, especially for you, because you seem to like you, it so well, much. Well, yeah, but time. you grow beards very quickly. You're one of them. I do it the morning dudes. of the show because I know that you like it so I much. I do like. I do like. I do like a gentleman with a beard. <laughs> I I I are don't, you? but I if it helps. Yeah, oh, so do I, I do that? that. Hey, let's do I that don't, face. I'll oh, try and do the face. Come on. I just did it not so well. I did the. I think no, was right. good. The lemon helps. No, it's it's cause you you get too much. Give me the subtext of it. <laughs> that's too much. Of, yeah, I my can't head remember. It was something foam. to do with something when Jim was here. It was a reaction to the. It was an email thing. I don't know. He he's very tough on himself, Jim. He is. Yeah. We all are a little. Yeah, bit. you're all a little tough on him. It's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not me. I love myself. Yeah, you you you're very good to yourself with your <laughs> ladies' underwear and <laughs> socks. Ooh la la splash. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's yeah, I saw you. You couldn't, you couldn't be in the, uh, in no, the sketch. No, that will give me nightmares. I'm so happy you just had me out here instead. Well, that the sketch? Terrifying. Yeah, I wouldn't be in it either. That's why Michael Caine agreed to do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're, oh, yeah, we're done. We're done. We have to go. Are we done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're are. Well, so we'll, the big we'll show here. starts tomorrow night? It, uh, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, yeah, 8 o'clock, right. Thursday night. The Big Bang Theory. Johnny Galicki and others. If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. I'd like to thank the gentlemen of the cast of the uh, Big Bang Theory for being here. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of the Big Bang Theory. And we would like to wish uh, a good night uh, to Kaylee, um, wherever you are out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wave goodbye to Kaylee. Goodbye, Kaylee. Goodbye.